Hello friends, myself Piyush Antandil, working as assistant professor in electrical engineering department of Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center, Navsari. My name of subject is Signal and System, which comes in third year, fifth sem. And this is the second module of chapter number one, that is Introduction to Signal and System. So, starting with flow of content. So before going into the flow of content, we already studied about what is signal and what is system in our first lecture. Then after, use of signal and system in our day to day life or use of our signal and system in our everyday life and different classification of signal and system. So in today's lecture, we are going to study about the definition of analog signal, then after definition of digital signal. Then after difference between analog and digital signal and in last definition of discrete signal. So starting with difference between analog and digital signals. So what is the difference between analog signal and digital signal? As we already know the analog signal is continuous with time and digital signal is discrete with time. That is we already studied in our first video. So analog and digital are the different form of signal. The signal are used to carry information from one device to another. This is the characteristics of signal, right? So signal can convey any information from one point to another point. Analog signal is a continuous wave that keeps on changing over a time period. We already know because we already studied about the example of temperature in previous video, right? And digital signal is the discrete in nature. Now, the fundamental difference between analog and digital signal is that analog signal is represented by sine wave, whereas the digital signal represented by square waves. So, first of all, starting with the definition of analog signal. Analog signal is a kind of continuous wave from that change over time. So it is the continuous wave that change over time. An analog signal is further classified into simple and composite signal. A simple analog signal is a sine wave that cannot be decomposed further. On the other hand, a composite analog signal can be further decomposite into multiple sine wave. So, these two different type are first one that is the sine analog signal that is simple and it can be represented by single mathematical equation and on the other hand the composite analog signal it can be combination of different sine wave or cosine waves. So it need to be represented by different number of mathematical expressions. An analog signal is described using amplitude period or frequency and phase. So these are the different variable with the help of which we can describe our analog signal. Amplitude marks the maximum height of signal. So whatever the amplitude that is going to marks the maximum height. Suppose over here in our analog signal, here is the amplitude and amplitude marks the highest or maximum point of the signal. Frequency marks the rate at which signal is changing. So what is the frequency? We already know frequency is equal to 1 upon time. So this is the frequency of 1 cycle where 1 cycle is completed. This is time t0 and 1 by t0 that is its frequency. So frequency is going to represent the rate at which the signal is changing. Then after phase marks the position of the wave with respect to 0 time or time zero. It means right now in our waveform the starting point of analog signal is from zero. But if our starting point is somewhere over here at the maximum point then it has some amount of phase displacement and it is going to represent it with the graph. An analog signal is not immune to noise hence it face distortion and decrease the quality of transmission because in analog signal there are several type of noises are going to be occurred because it is not immune to different noise. The range of value in analog signal is not fixed because we can change the frequency or we can change the range of frequency. The best example of analog signal is human voice. 
that is analog signal now the definition of digital signal digital signal also carry information like the analog signal but is somewhat is different from analog signal so digital signal is little bit of different from the analog signal the digital signal is non continuous discrete with time this is non continuous and discrete with time it means that at any given moment of time we can only read at that point so digital signal carries information or data in a binary form that is digital signal representation information in form of bits that is zeros or ones as we can see over here this is zero and this is one it can be either zero it can be either one just like the example of simple switch it can be off or it can be on so there are only two states now digital signal can be further decomposed into simple sine wave that are called harmonics each simple wave has different amplitude frequency and phase digital signal is described with bit rate and bit interval that is the interval between two bits bit interval describe the time required for sending a single bit now on the other hand bit rate describe the frequency of bit interval so it is bit rate is also going to describe the frequency of bit interval now a digital signal is more immune to the noise because digital signal have only zeros and ones so it, it it is more immune than analog signal also so hardly face any distortion and the noise that is coming inside of our digital signal is very less so the digital signal are easier to transmit and are more reliable when compared to analog signals digital signal has a finite range of value the digital signal consists of zeros and ones okay so this is the end of definition of analog signal and digital signal now we can look over the basic difference between analog and digital signal this topic is very important with respect to your examination also and your better understanding about analog and digital signals so first of all basic comparison of basic that is an analog signal is a continuous wave that change over a time and digital signal is a discrete wave that carries information in binary form next representation that is an analog signal is represented by sine wave that is a simple representation and a digital signal is represented by the square wave that we already discussed in the definitions right now description an analog signal is described by the amplitude period of frequency and phase these all are the different different description of the analog signal and on the other hand a digital signal is described by bit rate and bit interval now range analog signal has fixed range on the other hand digital signal have a finite number that is only zeros and ones now distortion analog signal is more prone to the distortion because the immunity of analog signal is very poor or very less that's why the amount of distortion is very large and on the other hand a digital signal is less prone to the distortion because the immunity of the digital signal is very good next that is the transmission or transmit an analog signal can transmit data in the form of wave that is any kind of other wave like sound wave frequency wave electromagnetic wave and the digital signal carries data in the binary form that is zeros and ones that is in digital communication system next the example that is the human voice is the best example of the analog signal and in the digital signal signal used for transmission in the computer are the digital signal so whenever we are going to transmit some data with the computer and processing that data we require to convert this data into the digital signal now the discrete signal now what is we already study about what is analog signal and what is digital signal but what about the discrete signal let's see a discrete signal or discrete time signal it can be also called as a discrete time signal is a time series consisting of sequence of quantities what does it mean time consisting of sequence of quantity it means that we required some amount of information at some interval of time that's why it is called as a discrete signal and the amplitude may be vary from 
zero to its maximum position. Unlike the continuous time signal, a discrete time signal is not a function of continuous argument. However, it may have been obtained by sampling from continuous signal. When a discrete time signal is obtained by sampling a sequence at uniformly spaced time, it has been associated sampling rate. So, we required a discrete time signal is obtained by sampling a sequence at uniform space, sampling at a sequence of uniformly spaced time, and that is denoted by the discrete time signal. Now, discrete time signal may have several origins, but can usually classified into one of two groups that is by acquiring value of an analog signal at constant or variable rate this process is called sampling so if we have some amount of analog signal let's take again take the example of temperature now if we draw the graph of temperature Now if we draw the graph of temperature it is going to increase from somewhere over here and going to be constant right. So at that time we require to sample it down at a specific rate like we are sampling it at this point, this point, this point and so on and so forth. So we are what we are doing over here we are doing sampling so this point these all points are called as a sample point by observing an inherently discrete time process such as the weekly peak value of particular economic indicator. So any kind of indication uh, that required some sampling rate that is called as a discrete time signal. Suppose we are measuring the temperature throughout a day and we are measuring the temperature at each and every interval of one hour. So we can get 24 different different data regarding to the temperatures. right? If we are going to draw a graph of that 24 hours then we need to put the sampling of each and every one hour and putting the value of the particular temperature. So that type of signal is called as a discrete signal. Now here are the basic difference that we can identify. Analog signal is going to be represented by something like sine wave which is going to continuous with time and on the other hand digital signal that is going to be represented like square wave that have zeros and once and in the last that is the discrete signal it is going to look like this so it have the sine wave over here i think as we can see this is the sine wave and we have some amount of sampling rate this is the sampling rate so the difference in each and every interval is going to be same but we we have only this amount of points and this amount of information in our system so this is the discrete signal I hope you clear the basic difference between analog signal, digital signal and discrete signal. And these are some important questions that are related to your examination. So please note this down and thank you. If you have any questions regarding this session, you can ask me into the comment section. Thank you.